Uh, my name is Priya Shamsundar. I represent Sandy. It's a regional research network that's based out of Kathmandu in Nepal. Um, well, uh, I feel like I know many of you through the email exchanges that we've already had, but it's going to be quite lovely to put a voice and a face to those email exchanges. And I am uh, certainly looking forward to uh, hearing what you have to say and what you're doing in your own countries or within your own institutions over the next two and a half uh, days. My job today is uh, to uh, give you a sense of what the objectives of the workshop are and what the expectations are at the end of the workshop. Uh, but before I do that, if you will indulge me, I will take a minute to reflect on why we are all so motivated, why it is so important for us to be here. Uh, a meditation on why uh, it is incredibly important to make these next two and a half days as productive as we can for our own countries and for the work that those of us who are academics or researchers will continue to pursue. Um, we know, and as you know, we as a human species have begun to uh, affect Earth systems in very significant ways. A great many scientists have pulled this information together, modeled it, and they have quite a bit to show us. Uh, and what, you, what we know now is that we've seen this great acceleration in ways in which we are affecting Earth systems. It's not only with atmospheric CO2, which we, most of us are aware of, but you see this interesting upward sloping U-shaped curve with growth increasing since the 1950s with atmospheric methane, with atmospheric nitrous oxide, with resource depletion, have the data for fisheries, maybe not for some of the other resources. But clearly we are, as a human species, affecting Earth systems. We are affecting the ecosystem services upon which Earth and life on Earth is dependent. So what do we do about this? How do, how do we account for these changes? How do we measure these changes? This is what this workshop is all about. And so it's, it's very important, the role that you will play in trying to identify, measure, and account for these changes that are clearly very serious. Well, one way forward is to try and measure, improve the way we measure wealth. Um, we can look at data that is available from the World Bank's Changing Wealth of Nations database. They measure wealth more comprehensively, trying to look at wealth as a, the sum of not only physical capital, but natural capital and human capital. And if you look at the data that are available for the region that I come from, which is South Asia, uh, you see this interesting increase in wealth, only three data points, unfortunately. Um, but we have seen economic growth and poverty reduction in our country, so it's not surprising that we should find some increases in comprehensive wealth. But then when we wonder where is this increase coming from, what is happening to natural capital, um, it becomes a lot more fuzzy. So Partha will be talking about this a lot more, uh, and, um, and we will hear a lot more about this in the next, next session. But it's important for us to wonder uh, how we are using our natural capital and whether we are using it in the ways that we should be using it and to account for it surely. Uh, I understand and like Evo, I recognize completely that there are data issues here, that there are methodological issues here that are deep. You know, these are not trivial issues and you understand them so much better than I do. Uh, and so these numbers may not accurately reflect what is going on, but they are a start and now it's in, you're, you have uh, the ability to fix this and try and figure out exactly how to move forward within the context of the standardized framework that the UN is providing. So that's, that's, um, that's where we will be going with the rest of the workshop. And uh, so let me now talk about the objectives of the workshop. As you can see, there are many partners who came together over the workshop. And not every partner had the same objective. Uh, but we wanted to be inclusive. Uh, because without sort of this push and pull of demand and supply, we will not be able to implement this agenda together. So we really wanted to have uh, both sort of the people who uh, demand this information and the people who can supply this information together to sort through 
uh, questions about policy priorities and research priorities and so on. So what are the objectives, the sort of the core objectives? There are multiple mini objectives. I wouldn't say mini in the sense that they're less important, but every institution has its own objectives to some extent. But the core objectives would be to illustrate the need for better measures of wealth and income as we look at ecosystem flows. Uh, but we also want to examine current practices. This work has been going on in many of your countries for two decades, maybe, maybe more. So what is the learning from those current practices? As we boost up this in, the implementation, what are the challenges there that we should sort of build on and, and so we can make it go at a faster rate, uh, as mentioned by you? Um, and it will be very interesting to hear what the countries are doing within their own um, national setups. Um, we also want to focus a little bit on valuation. Uh, this, we understand that we can account for environmental resources better if they're traded in the marketplace and there is a price tag that you can attach to it and then you can bring it into the national uh, system of accounts much more easily. But well, most of our environmental resources don't have a price associated, it, associated with them. But do we value them? My Bhutanese colleague for sure will say yes, we certainly value them. Uh, so how do we then make sure that these resources that we truly value become a part of our macroeconomic welfare aggregates? And how do we undertake this valuation in a consistent fashion so it keeps the statisticians reasonably happy as well? Right? I mean, that's, that's part of what is going on. And I know that there's a lot of work ahead. But part of what we wanted to do is just get a sense of where we are, uh, what are some methods and tools, um, and get a discussion going at the country level about where you think you might need some help if you want to move in this direction. What, what, should, what, what kind of support is actually required? So we really want to hear back from you on that. Uh, finally, of course, the bottom line is to brainstorm on how to implement the CS Central Framework, for which there is a structure in place already, and then to take forward the emerging experimental ecosystems account. So that really is the bottom line. Um, the plan for the workshop, today we will have a number of sessions. We start, of course, with uh, Sir Partha's presentation, and then we will have a number of uh, sessions that look at sort of policy demand, global initiatives, what's going on out there, and how do countries themselves, why do countries themselves want uh, environmental accounts, do they, and what are their major challenges. Uh, from there on, we will get a little bit more practical and get into issues of the CS Central Framework, and that will continue on to tomorrow. And then we will start a discussion on experimental ecosystems accounts and, um, and valuation. So all of, all of that is tomorrow afternoon. Um, we'll have some time for cocktails in the middle somewhere over there. But uh, uh, we will go on from there to the next, to the last day, which I think is incredibly important. We hope to have uh, several small groups, maybe by country, uh, discuss some of the implementation challenges. And these will lead to our expected outcomes from this workshop, <coughs> what would we really like to get out of it. We'd really like to understand policy priorities at the country level that can actually be supported by green uh, national accounts. I mean, what is it in your country that you would most be helped by but if you were to fix your accounts in some fashion, which policy issues. So we'd like you to start thinking about that already in an as specific a manner as you can, you know, not in generalizations, but as specific a manner as you can. Then, of course, there's the implementation challenges, and this is where the UN system comes into play. If they have a very good understanding, again, a country-specific understanding of what these challenges are, are they mainly related to data? Are there institutional barriers which can, as Igor said, can be really strong? Uh, methodological issues, particularly related to valuation, capacity, skill constraints. Where, where should the budgets follow after all of this? Or where should the training happen? These are issues that we need to have you discuss. We would also have, uh, want to know what the research priorities are. We want to be able to develop these uh, the research agenda for this program, and so we want to know what these priorities are. So that's those are the expected outcomes. I'm almost ready to stop, <laughs> but I want to take one last try to tell you who Sandy is. I'm very sure before you started uh, receiving invitations from us, 
you knew who UNEP was, you knew, knew who UNSCAP was, you knew who UNST was, but you certainly didn't know who Sandy was. Maybe people from our part of the world, but the rest of you possibly didn't know who Sandy was. So let me just take a minute to tell you that we are a research network. We work in seven countries across South Asia. Uh, we have a sister organization, ITSI, which works in East Asia. Uh, our focus is, focus is on the nexus between economic development, poverty, and environmental change. We are interested in solutions to environmental problems, but we come in through the lens of economics. So that's, that's our entry point. Uh, we build research capacity, so we provide grant support, we provide technical <coughs> assistance, we do a lot of training, and of course, policy dialogue and dissemination. Um, in fact, if you want to know more about us, I would encourage you to look up our website and become a member so we can continue to send you information and there may be opportunities there that you might be interested in. So that's it. Thank you.